Welcome back, comic book hero. So, my fellow heroes, it's that time of the year again. You held on to whatever books you have, you're looking to take advantage of the Christmas season, and you want to make those big snails. And you're smart, okay? About, in certain cases, 90%, okay, of the gross money that a lot of guys make in terms of their sales is right now, okay? These two, three weeks before Christmas comes out. But, okay, oh, Lord, 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 look, most of us don't have the money to, say, use UPS, FedEx, or any of these other places. And the post office is the most convenient place. You know, it's a short drive, it's a short walk, you want to use it. Let's say you sold a book. Let's say you sold a really good one. I'm saying uh, Avengers number one, okay? You had a low-grade copy of it, but you made it, you sold it, you sold it for a few hundred bucks now. What are you going to do? You're going to take it to the post office, but then that little voice starts talking to you. Hey, if I ship this first-class mail, or if I ship this media mail, I can actually save a few bucks and thereby increase my profit margin. Now, what are you going to save at the end of the day? A couple bucks, three bucks, four bucks, whatever it may be, you're not going to save enough money that's going to be worth your package getting lost, okay? It starts around Thanksgiving and it continues on to the Christmas season. Look, if you're going to ship something that is really, really valuable right now, look, don't be a piker. Okay? You see that sign behind me? Priority mail. Okay? Learn what it is and use it right now. It's your best bet to keep yourself from falling into some doldrum. Because right now is the highest point of the year where packages get lost. Lost and not found for weeks. Okay? Best horror story I've heard so far? Guy I know just dropped $500. $500 on a Wonder Woman gold foil cover. Okay? $500. Bought it from somebody. The guys decided to ship it out. How? Standard mail. Standard mail. Oh, goodness. The package has been lost for over two weeks. When you call the United States Postal Service, all they can tell you is, hey, it's in transit. They can't tell you anything better than that. So this guy decided to ship standard mail. He charged the guy six bucks. How much more would he have had to pay if he used priority mail? 50 cents. 50 cents. 50 cents more, he would have been able to use priority mail, package it well, and then ship it out with tracking and insurance of at least $50 on this. Now, of course, that's little, that's a drop in the bucket compared to the book is actually worth. But now, as a seller, you've got to refund all of this money. The longer it stays at the post office, the higher percentage chance it has that's going to be damaged. So in just trying to save two or three dollars because you wanted to send something out cheaply, you've lost over 500 bucks. And then when you get the book back, if it's been damaged, whatever it costs for you to acquire it, it's done. It's done. All because you wanted to save a few dollars. It's not worth it. Don't be cheap. Priority mail, okay? The less time it has to stay with the post office, the better for you. Two to three days, it's at its destination, okay? And there's less of a chance of you having any problem. Two, the post office primarily works through priority mail now. They phased out a lot of their other stuff because priority mail, the expedited service, is easier for them, is faster for them, is more accurate for them. So, you want to be a hero? Priority mail for your big books. You want to take a risk on a book that was a dollar book, ten dollars here? Okay, go ahead and do that if you want to be cheap. But if you're selling anything of value, a nice slab, a really good key, and we're talking hundreds of dollars, once it's past the fifty dollar insurance of priority mail, don't take the risk. Don't let it be stuck there. Okay, I've had my own horror stories. Okay, yeah, eventually the book finds where it is, but you don't know what condition that book is going to be when it gets to the person or when it gets back to you. Just not worth it. So, a very, very Merry Christmas to all. Use Priority Mail. And you too can be a comic book hero. See you next time.